Your referee is Alex Strahan. Introducing first, the challenger. He is very nice. He is very evil. Dan Housen! But can Dan Housen be evil enough to take the title away from Warhorse Jake Parnell? That will be the question to be answered. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 206 pounds. He is the defending Crown of Glory champion, Warhorse Jake Parnell. Sitting on that buckle, Warhorse almost in a trance as he stared into the gold flanked by red leather that comprises the Crown of Glory Championship, one of the very richest prizes in professional wrestling today. Warhorse had to fight and scratch and claw and use every bit of intestinal fortitude he had to get that gold around his waist. Since then, we've seen a very different man. Jake Parnell will square off here to defend his title for the second time. But can he go to places that he may need to go to defend his title against a man who has long been his best friend? These two men were attached at the hip. Both men 11-year pros as they lock up collar and elbow. And as Danhausen shows off the guns, there will be a size and strength edge in this matchup for Warhorse. And Jake Parnell looks uh, a little bit confused. Now, if anyone should know the antics of Danhausen, it would be the champion. Collar and elbow? No. Warhorse will go right to the arm. Taking that left arm and works through to the wrist. The way he's got that elbow bent on Danhausen, who reverses it, takes the wrist lock of his own. <laughs> and Danhausen shows off to the crowd after reversing, and maybe this is on purpose. He knows that Warhorse knows his antics. Maybe just trying to get under the champion's skin. I don't know if I. Oh, all right. Well, Alex Strand raising the hand of Danhausen and then says, all right, let's get back to action. Alex Strahan, one of the very best referees on the planet. Fans clearly split inside the legendary South Broadway Athletic Club. As Warhorse Jake Parnell will take the wrist. I'm sorry, folks, I'm still getting used to this Warhorse Jake Parnell thing. So if you hear me switch in between the two, you'll have to excuse me for years. I've just referred to him as Warhorse. Wrist lock from the champion. Bending the wrist of Danhausen in a direction other than which nature intended it. Danhausen goes to the hair. Maybe that answers the question about whether he's willing to get evil enough. Nice drop toe hold on the spin from Danhausen. And it will walk up over Warhorse. Danhausen's got to be careful here. He's going to make the champion mad. Exactly. And Warhorse drops him down to the canvas. And Warhorse taking his time, bringing Danhausen back up to his feet before he sends him to the ropes and shoulder blocks him down. Oh, was that a little bit of a previous incarnation that we almost saw right there? It's Dan Housen asking for no swearing. What is his demographic, as RJ City once asked? Go behind from Jake Barnell as he's essentially chasing Danhausen around the ring who ducks down and shoots him through the ropes to the floor. Danhausen is a very intellectual man. And you might look at the face paint and say, what? But if you get to know Danhausen, and I have 
seen him over a number of years. He knows how to use those idiosyncrasies to get people off their game, to get them to let their guard down, and he can technically take you to ribbons. As Danhausen following Warhorse around the side of the ring, although right now not working, worrying too much about the technical side as he drags his face across the guard ring. Danhausen understands how to force you to make mistakes and then take advantage, although right here, mistake from Danhausen. Warhorse Jake Parnell was out of the way. And now it's Danhausen in some trouble. Danhausen trying to work his way back up to his feet and get back into the ring. Although he's going to take his time. Getting a blast of air. Downstairs to the body goes Jake Parnell across the ring. Elbow from Danhausen. Oh, no! Running Jake Parnell's head into those turnbuckles. It's not going to do much as he fires up in the corner. Headbutt to Danhausen. And is this maybe what Danhausen is trying to do? Is he trying to get a little bit of his old friend to come back out? Warhorse stepping over the top of the shoulder. Ah, oh, and then running his forearm right over the forehead of Danhausen. And he can see the paint. Warhorse, arm ringer, will shoot Danhausen across the ring. Warhorse trying to follow up himself, and he runs straight into a boot. Right on the jawline, Danhausen, oh no, no! Warhorse able to duck. Sending Danhausen into the buckles. Warhorse throwing the knees to the body. Warhorse signaling for Alex Strand to get out of the way. Hesitation, drop kick to the corner. And suddenly the champion, calm, cool, collected, and in control. You see where some of that paint has been rubbed off the forehead of Danhausen from that forearm attack from Warhorse, who goes back and sits in the corner, not even pressing the advantage. And now some of the fans around ringside having some trouble with Warhorse Jake Parnell. Boy, I never thought I would see that. Boots to the body from Jake Parnell. The champion staying on top. And Danhausen smartly rolling back out to the floor. Probably in the best interest of the challenger to dodge a little bit here. Oh, forget about it. That time he didn't go wait in the corner. Warhorse charges clear across the ring. Tope Canhilo through the ropes and out to the floor. And now both men having the count put in from Alex Strand. Warhorse landed hard in the aisle way. Count is up to five. Danhausen's in trouble. Looked like Danhausen took that leg of Warhorse right to the head. Count is up to eight. Danhausen, he's out. Oh, he, he somehow found enough. The count got to nine almost as if it put a burst back into Danhausen to dive back into the ring, but he dove right back into the clutches of the champion. Front face lock, suplex, inside cradle, Danhausen. Two and three quarters. Danhausen off the ropes, ducks underneath the clothesline, ducks underneath the chop, flying in, clothesline from Danhausen. Pop up, inverted atomic drop. Danhausen off the ropes, forearm. Challenger into control. Warhorse across the ring. Puts on the brakes, reversal, Danhausen to the buckles. He's out of the way, German suplex on the rebound. And suddenly the champion in some trouble. Danhausen with a great combination of offense. 
but can he capitalize? It's amazing how similar these two men are. The roads that they have walked, so similar as Danhausen trying to find it in him to sit up and get going. Both 31, pardon me, both 11 year veterans. Warhorse 31, Danhausen 33. They have been all over North America and the wrestling world together. But tonight, adversaries. As Danhausen tries to capture what his friend has. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, not the teeth. Oh, not this part. Oh! That's awful. And that's even worse. The boot landed, count of one, two, Danhausen, no! Within an eyelash of a new Crown of Glory champion. I don't know how Warhorse got out of that. And now there is shrapnel all over the ring canvas. I mean, any landing you take now is going to be even worse. Northern Lariat! Right to the back of the head of Danhausen. Warhorse pulls him across the ring. And Warhorse flying in with that running knee attack. He'll pull Warhorse, uh, pull Danhausen out of the corner. This one, not over. Two and three quarters for Jake Parnell. And the champion. Maybe questioning the official a little bit. Danhausen being pulled out of the ropes by Warhorse, who fires away with a right hand to the top of the head. And a second. And again, you can see those teeth littered throughout the canvas. Warhorse off that second rope, looking for the lariat. Danhausen rolls through. Beautiful Northern Lights with the bridge. Two and nine tenths. Remember what I said earlier about Dan Housen being able to beat you technically? That was a gorgeous Northern Light suplex. Into the corner. Dan Housen splits out the arms. And I think Dan Housen now realizes any of the good times are over. He's going to have to fight his way through the rest of this matchup. Warhorse pulls Danhausen down, hand rattles off the turnbuckle. Danhausen recovers to reverse the Irish whip, but from the backside, it's that sleeper, rear naked choke like submission, and then Danhausen with the jawbreaker. Both men duck, they'll fly together. Double lariat, and Warhorse looked like he might have taken the worst of it. I wonder if it's because he landed in that pile of shrapnel that is now just behind him. Alex Strand putting in the count. It's up to three. Make it four, and our official, Strand, as I mentioned, one of the best. He's gonna give these two as much leeway as he can inside the rules. Danhausen up to his feet, breaks the count, swings. Duck by Warhorse, he wanted that Saito suplex. Elbows down to the back of that from Danhausen, pops him down off the knee. Danhausen, caught, Saito! I don't think Warhorse got what he wanted on it, but he turned it into a pinning combination. Two and a half. He didn't get the bridge in the turn that he would have wanted, but off the rope set, Lariat! That's it! Go on to the champion. What? How did Danhausen kick out of that? Warhorse landing that lariat, and it's not going to be enough. Warhorse ascending, no pun intended, all the way to the top rope. What's he got in mind here? He's going to fly. Hail to the king. Randy Savage couldn't have done that better. Dan Housen kicked out a one. Maybe he really is superhuman. And Dan Housen now cursing his former best friend. Right hands landing. Dan Housen trying to turn it into his advantage. Those right jabs popping along the jaw. Warhorse's head rocking like a speed bag. Danhausen 
puts the moves on. And Warhorse spins to the canvas off that right hand. Danhausen pulling Warhorse back up to his feet. Scorpion death drop set. Oh, crossroads! Count of one, two, and no! Might be a while since I've seen Danhausen in live action, but not often have I seen him use crossroads. And maybe a sign of things uh, between these two men. This friendship, this relationship between Warhorse and Danhausen at a crossroads. Oh no! Jake Parnell tossing Danhausen to the corner, and referee Alex Strand gets nailed. And Danhausen might have butted heads with the official. They collided at high speed. Not really certain. As Warhorse, oh, has the belt taken away as he tried to get hold of it. Alex Strahan with a brilliant recovery. Oh, Danhausen downstairs, inside cradle, got one, two, and no! Danhausen hoisting Warhorse up to the shoulders. Clutched. Trying to choke Danhausen out. Danhausen trying to free himself up. Trying to break that grip. Oh, Warhorse, he sunk it in. He's got it absolutely sunk in now. That arm is trapped, and Danhausen is in big trouble. Strand watching. That arm sinking. It's over. It is over. Well, in the end, Warhorse didn't have to resort to means that would have broken the rules. He grabbed hold of that title, but did not strike Danhausen with it. Danhausen went downstairs on the champion, but even that wouldn't be enough. That submission hold, that modified sleeper that Warhorse is now using is enough to put away Danhausen. And now center of the ring, Danhausen asking Ben for the microphone. Hey, she signed me. Oh, I'm holding my title. I choked you out to try to reach for the ropes. I, uh, I choked you out. I won. What the hell is happening? Where is this referee? I think Danhausen got confused. I'm going to get back to this in a second. I would like. Oh, that elbow drop. Oh, yeah. I think you might have choked me out, too. I don't remember. Uh, anyway. Danhausen having some trouble. Very nice. Very nice. Maybe a little bit deeper. Danhausen just wants to thank each and every one of you for coming out to the Danhausen Spectrum. Win, lose, or draw. That's what's going to be true. Sure, yeah, I'll look at the face. But Dan is nothing without any of you. Dan Housen is nothing without independent wrestling. And we learn you and you guys are talking Independent wrestling is about this. It's about people like Warhorse. Well, Dan Housen's got that right. And about Alex the Rep, who won all matches tonight. Hey, Alex! Great job, man! 
Alex Strain getting love from the fans here in St. Louis. He's earned it. Oh, Lord. Danhausen clearly, uh, after being choked out, does not remember what happened. I'll make it more official. Did Danhausen win tonight? Yeah! What are we gonna see? Oh, we see the hug! Yeah, I love this! Warhorse and Danhausen! Maybe that old Warhorse isn't all gone just yet! Warhausen exploded! Danhausen is a character. Warhorsen explodes and comes back together at the end of the night. Warhorse Jake Pornell, his second successful title defense, but he keeps his best friend on Glory Pro Ascend. Hey, who you 